on this incubator. These little AC inverters right here. If you can read the right right there, that's kind of small. But this one right here is input 120 volt AC. And what you want to look for is the output is 9.6 volts or pretty close to 10 volts, which runs that fan about on medium is what it does because it's a 9 volt to a 13 volt. Give you a little bit an idea. So here's another one. You can see this print on this one a little bit better. I get pick up these at the local Goodwill store for about a buck a piece. Input 120 volt AC, output 10 volt DC right there. That probably come off of an old computer printer. So with most of these, see you've got a plug like this on your AC inverter. So all you have to do when you run your wire into your fan is plug this up just like this right here. Let me see. Oh yeah, that one's got to. It's got to be the right way. See, you can just plug that up, and this hangs right here on the side of your uh, of your incubator. Just makes life a little bit simpler, and I'm all for making life simple. Okay. Now, this is the thing that bothers everybody so much. That's a. This is a demo. This come out of a little mobile home right here. It's a 110 volt, an older style. You see this in here. It's a newer style. You get them at Lowe's for eight, nine bucks. Um, that's exactly what they look like. That's the metal side right here. And the front side looks very similar to this right here. What you're doing is we're gonna take, now you're gonna have to run some other wiring or, uh, let me see, like this right here. This is where my power source, it's all taped up in here where it goes together. I didn't use the nuts on this one. I soldered them together here or use solderless terminals. But uh, one side of your power source is going to go to your light socket. The other side is going to route through to your thermostat. All your thermostat is doing is interrupting one side. And it doesn't matter which side you hook up. It doesn't matter. Not on 110 volt. It just don't matter. So you're going to run a wire. You're going to take these. What you're doing here is you're going to take these off. You're going to tie in a wire to this side, or whichever side you choose, and you're going to run it to one side of your light socket. Then you're going to run the other side, the wire from the other side is going to route into your box to your thermostat, to one side of the thermostat. The other wire goes to this side of the thermostat, runs back out the same hole. If you look, you'll see the two wires on the thermostat right here. There's two wires hooked up and they both run out the hole going to the bottom right here. One wire in, the other wire goes back out and ties into the other side of your power source. This side hooks up to the light socket via another wire, hooks up to one side of the light socket. The wire comes from this side, runs into the box through a hole that you'll drill in to one side of the thermostat, hook up another wire to the other side of the other nut on the thermostat, back out the hole, and it comes back out to the other side of your power source. Okay, I hope you understand what we're talking about there, but that's as simple as it is. And you'll wrap it around these right here and put your, put your wire nuts back on, and it'll secure all of your wires. You're going to tie, I take, on my power inverter, I take that wire and I cut it right here on the end, See, with this one, I just put some terminals. Sometimes you have to play around the little fans that come with different connectors depending on whether they're SATA or, uh, um, I'll call, I, I'm not sure what the other one is. It's either SATA or whatever the other kind is. And uh, you'll have to play around with it. Skin your wires, split them. Your positive side usually has a white marker on it. The negative side is black. Solid black, white stripe is your positive side or your voltage side. Then what you'll have to do is just play around with touching, because one way you touch it to your fan, it's not gonna run at all. You touch it the correct way and the fan will run. And when you do that, then you'll know which wires you need to tie in or which side you need to hook them to. It's not real complicated. And let me see, where am I at here?